glaze. Yeah. Glazing with a burnt umber. So like I'm using the example of the picture we've got here. Okay, now the water here, can you see the water is actually going that way? And water generally does this kind of thing. Like that. It's like an S. It does this sort of S shape. So you can yeah. actually, can you see if I do that? And you get that mm -hmm. kind of shape. Very oh. loose. Oh. For the moment, yeah. you do, can you see here where I've washed the dock in here by the boat? On the darker of the boat, it makes the boat more three dimensional. Can you see here it's a little bit too light, so we want a little bit more shadow so that the light of the boat will stand out. So I'm just glazing now, just glazing, and then we're gonna paint in a little bit more paint just now. So I'm gonna add because this here is if I look there is much cooler. So I'm gonna add a little bit of paint gray to the burnt umber. Sort of glaze. So this is the same, this is what the Van e from Ick brothers used to paint like this. Um, and we still use basically all the techniques that the old masters invented that we're still painting on today. Doesn't matter what you do, whether you do an upstairs, only so many ways you can do things. Um, so I'm just trying to get the dark in. Turner worked the other way around. Traditionally, we work from dark to light and it gives us wonderful, wonderful depth. The Turner was actually a, um, a William Turner, he was uh, uh, actually a watercolorist uh, and he actually then ended up using oils and what, what we call um, Gouache, I think it was gouache. Yeah. That you would use it the other way. <clears throat> Can you see the dog? Mm. Okay, so now I'm going to add the light back in, <clears throat> but I'm going to paint the light back in. So if I look here, this, if I look here, can you see that this is, so, yeah, it's light and cool. Sorry. There's warmer, and that is. That is warmer than this. Yeah. You see. In one direction. So it's got green in it, yes. So I'm gonna make mix sort of my own green. You know, we can use that. So I'm mixing the green into the brown. Oops, almost took a bit of red there. Fine. Now the other thing is what's good to do is it's to use the contrasting color. So if this is mostly yellow or orangey what is the what is the complementary of orange blue okay why is okay what is orange made up of yellow red what gets left over blue so if that is mostly orange so then that would be better if we add a bit more blue in there. Yeah. So I'm going to add a bit more blue to make the shadow more clear. Because that's what the whole impressionistic thing is about, is to actually um, make the colors more contrast. So now I'm going to paint in some color. So this is nice and dark. So I'm painting in a little bit of the dark now. So now I'm going to make it slightly lighter. So that's kind of your pictures green. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm still adding a bit of blue in it. Just because it's going to make it... Because you're the artist. You can you can invent stuff. Now, look at the action I'm using on the brush. You see, it's like an S. I'm doing sort of an s shape action to get that sort of watery feel. And I'm also almost using the brush on, on its side. Can you see that I'm, I'm not pressing like this I'm, I'm sort of doing a swiveling action yeah I'm gonna go over the ropes and you can always put the ropes back. I'm sort of putting some of it in here I'm going to look at the camera. I'm going to look at the camera and see how unbelievably good I'm going to see. I'm going to see. Just it like so much. I'm just putting the darkest dogs. I'm painting the darkest dogs. Now, which position am I holding the brush? 
Second. Hmm? Second position. Second, yeah. almost third. Can you see there? Because that would be second, and my third would be there. So it's sort of in between second to third. And I'm still using, I'm deliberately using a very, like a wrist action because I want to get this sort of loose feel. Okay, here's the, um, this boat thing. Now the nice thing is about the boat, the water is mostly all horizontal where the boat action, the boats are all organic. So this one, I'd actually make more organic that it's more this way and this way instead of going the same way as the water so the water is very unique in the direction that it's going and the boats are unique in the direction that it's going does it make sense what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i want to play this out but i don't always understand the term organic the boats are organic Organic me just means that you, that like that's organic strokes there. What did you say? It's not formal in one direction. Organic means no, that like this is very organic uh, over here. It's a 35 grams out of 120. What am I doing now? Uh, and nothing uh, under 85 grams. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter here. here. You just put it here and put it over. Yeah. So I'm adding a little bit of light oh. now in. Not too much. So now I'm going to add the, the light, light of the water. So the light of the water for me here, it's got a bit of pinkiness there, it's got a greeniness. So the, the pinkiness would be nice because the opposite of, of, of green is red. Opposite of green is red. So it would be nice to the pinkiness of water. So remember the impression is I always work with um, the opposites. Are you learning stuff? Yes, yo. <laughs> Oh, what? I'm toning the pink down. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow ochre to the pink. Can you see there? It tones it down. Okay, it just tones it down. It's not like a bright, bright pink. It's still a little bit too light. Not too bright. And I've, I've got quite a lot of paint on the brush. Can you see there? It's quite a lot of paint. Yeah. Then when this is dry, I'll, I'm going to add a glaze over it again. So I'm almost making it, almost make it too light, so that I can glaze it slightly darker again. So with the impression that you try to do contrast. Yes, yes. The more contrast, the better. So now I'm going to add a little bit of that green color in there. And dash of blue in it. Because I know that the blue will bring it out. So I'm not cleaning my brush. Can you see some of the other yeah. colors still on there? So that's fine because it all makes for more interesting colors. People tend to want to get the perfect color. There is no such a thing as getting the perfect color. That's the whole point. You're, you're doing a piece of art. So every piece is alive means every piece has got a different color but can you see now here i'm bringing in the light by giving it short strokes can you see that it comes more alive why did you prefer a round brush instead of just a flat because the round brush gives me more a more organic shape like if i can use say for example flat brush there so i'll work a little bit there I want to add a little bit more depth into this darkness now. So I'm going to go back to the dark. So that's green. So I'm going to make a nice dark and add a bit of red to it. So that the dark is quite... Because that dark, can you see, it's, it's quite dead that I put in there. So now I'm going to add like a red over it. A red dark. So even though I don't see it there, I know in my head that it will work. Now look at if I add like little bits of red there, can you see? Can you, now it, it pops it. Yeah. 
So even though it's not real, it doesn't look like that in reality. <clears throat> well, on the picture. And the picture is limited to what the camera can see. I mean, it might have 8 million pixels, it might have 13 million pixels, but it can never have as many pixels as a human eye. <coughs> So if, if I do the, the flat, the little flat uh, hubs, you know, the bigger one, and that's too big, too big. Yeah. Well, it's okay. A full bit will all be flat, yeah. Let's go close. Nice. Can you get in there? Yeah, sorry, you're fine. Okay, no, that's no, more like fine. a full bit. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so what I want to do is, <clears throat> I want to build up a bit of this area. I use it later on. Uh, can you give me... Give me some more of that light and green color. Okay, okay don't, don't put your colors down, mix like this. Put your greens together, your reds together. Your, because what's going to happen, your palette's going to get totally dirty. So, like, ideally, that should rather be here. With I'll this, like your, your, blues, your, blues, your blues and your green should be together. Because that's going to make it more short. One day, if you download it, hundreds of 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 hundreds at the moment, with the ball of the must have it in my laptop. And then I burn the CD for you. Because you like a stick with a CD. I must ask for it and come back. So here I'm using, can you see the strokes are different? I'm using different strokes. I should go a little bit down. It's getting a little bit too rounded there. Now I'm pushing the contrast between that and that. Can you see? So I'm going to put a little bit of that reflection in here. So this is now a flat brush. Now, um, I'm just thinking now, I quite like that it picks up a bit of that yellowy bit. So I'm going to add it. If you like that yellow, some warm yellow. Put your yellow now with your other yellow. So I'm going to add a bit of that yellow into the green because I want to pick up a bit of that color. So it's not really there. So I'm almost doing a top layer. Let's go a bit back like that. So now that's going to be cool. So I'm going to add the contrast. I'm going to dull it down by adding a bit of red to the green. Uh, well, okay. So I'm going to add a bit of red to it. Why am I adding the red to it? To darken it and dull it down. Eh? So here where I see the dark. And I can even add a dash of pure red. Or like if you don't want to add pure red, you add your um, burnt sienna to it. Because burnt sienna has got a lot of red in it. So yeah, in the shadow, the thing. Now, can you see what I'm talking about? Organic brush stroke is if I if I it's not like down down. It's like I'm almost letting the brush do different things. I'm using the the side of the brush, of the belly of the brush, the front of the brush, and the side of the brush, and each one gives me a different feel. Can you see? I'm sort of got a mixture of lots of colors on there. Now look, I'm holding the brush really flat so that it picks up some of that colors that's on the side of it. Now can you see uh, that little dead dot of red there? Now that is a good thing. Now you leave it there. Can you see that it contrasts nicely? Okay. So now in here, we, um, I've still got the green here. I want to bring more red. So now I'm going to go, I want to go a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go for a smaller brush with the reds in there. And I'm building in different directions. Can you see that? I'm still working with the green with a lot of red in it. And I'm adding a little bit of emphasis. I'm just, I'm just putting little brush strokes down. Can you see that? So I'm pushing the, the red because I know the red is going to make the green stand out. So it's a green with, with red in it. Now here, We've got a blue boat, so I'm going to keep the red there, but I might eventually have to put a bit of orange in here to, to make the blues. But can you see that 
it's it's popping can you see so even here in your think about even bringing like that can you see where the orange and the blue here works together there okay. so, so a little bit of so now I'm, I'm putting thick strokes look at the strokes I'm putting down here of that red green so yeah I'm putting almost a, a clean viridian green there look there I'm going to ignore that rope. Can you see there? Can you see what's happening? Okay, going back to uh, this one. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit. Can I do a little bit of that part of the boat? Right. I'm just, I'm just adding a little bit more to what you've got. Okay.